Now to our coverage of the flood in Maiduguri, the National Emergency Management Agency says it has intensified search and rescue operations as the flood water gradually recedes in Maiduguri. So far, more than 500,000 persons are seeking refuge in about 29 camps across the state. And TVC News senior reporter Jesse Tafida reports. For almost one week, Flood waters have turned large parts of Maiduguri, the Borno state capital, into swarms. Almost all residents of the town have been impacted and the extent of the damage is still unknown. Over 45% of the area's commercial and densely populated areas have been severely damaged by flood waters. But as the waters recede, the National Emergency Management Agency has intensified its search and rescue operations and more people have now been evacuated from their homes. We also have additional tents due to the large number of people that have trooped in here. Uh, the camp coordination and camp uh, management office has also been set up uh, to work with other partners. All the sectors health, water sanitation and hygiene, security and uh, other sectors have been set up with uh, partners uh, supporting and uh, the, the, the co-leads. The agency is working with the state government to ensure that all necessary steps are taken to meet the growing demands of residents as additional camps are established. The challenges we have, which we've discussed, and I think we are, we are overcoming them, uh, are of water sanitation and hygiene. Of course, because of the large number of people we have, uh, we're trying to avoid a situation of outbreak. Uh, the Borno State Government directed uh, the Minister of uh, Environment and Health. Uh, through the GM Bosepa, uh, they've been able to come and uh, clean up the place. They were mandated to have a uh, 24-hour service in the camps to clean up these places, and they have been doing it. Residents of the state are yet to come to terms with the destruction of their homes, businesses, and vital infrastructure. The devastation caused by the flood is unprecedented. Humanitarian workers and development partners are complementing efforts of the government by providing for the needs of more than 200,000 people in various camps within the city. Jesse Tafida, TVC News, Maiduguri.